Hi guys, Amy Hine, home business expert. In this video, I, I have to say, I'm super excited to share this with you. It's, it's a new software, I'm learning about it, and I honestly can't believe it's real because it takes the last, what, since I've, I've been drop shipping since 2003, and I've never seen anything so easy, and it's, it's like handing you a huge gift. Um, check out how to list and, and what this all my excitement is about in the rest of the video. See you on the see Amy Hunt, home business expert, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so if you want to get there, um, look in the description below. I'll put a link in. Again, it's an affiliate link. Basically, that's how I keep all my videos free. I share information with you. If you just look, use the link to sign up, it's free. Auto DS is auto drop shipping. Okay, so you're gonna log in. Um, let's see, I'm gonna log in. I, I just signed up so I can log in quickly. And then what you have to do is three things. You have to connect your eBay account. Basically, you're gonna la tell eBay a third party. It's okay that this third party auto DS is working together with eBay. And then you're gonna enter your Amazon information for automatic. Um, the auto part um, where it processes everything automatically and then you also will need your Gmail account so in order to get started let's get connect user I have to connect to my eBay account so I'm going to be drop shipping to eBay and here's just where you want to agree okay so you're just giving access to both applications to work with each other so now you find it lands on a PayPal address uh, for your default so you're going to put your PayPal address in additional profit generally 10 percent is good um i mean percentage and then profit amount that's if i guess if you're working i'm not really sure what this break even is ebay target would be the ebay basically um unit that where what country are you in okay so i'm in the u.s i'm picking the u.s success great now what this section is is of course the social media aspect now if you go to get free hot products what you can do is, and I think this is only in the beginning when you sign up that they'll give you products to upload quickly. So hot products with eight sales in a month, they're already identifying for you the products that are hot in sales right now on eBay. So they're linking you to those sales. So that's one of the um, the unique features about AutoDS is it is this right here, AutoDS Finder. Um, it will find some products for you that are hot items that are selling. So I really like that aspect of AutoDS. Okay, so in order to get payments and pay for your product, you have to click change payment. I'm going to add my PayPal account. It looks like it's going to charge $1 to verify you and you can pick your payment. I'm going to choose a credit card because I like to get the points um, on my credit card. So I'm going to pick that one and click continue. It just wants to verify that AutoDS has permission to use that. Agree and continue. And if you want to verify that your payment processed and went through, go back to your name, click edit profile. And you'll see under here that my current method is PayPal. So now that payment part is set up. Again, that is necessary to be set up in order for your orders to be processed. Some other topics or, or notes, something to note is make sure your, your PayPal email address is in here. There's a process to get the token. Um, percentage fees for the United States is around 3.4 and that's based on all the fees from eBay, PayPal to make sure you're making the money that you need to make and not losing money. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Um, leave a comment in the description or message me however you can get in contact with me to let me know that you have a question and I will be, do my best to help you. Otherwise, there is a help desk down here. Basically, you just click on this chat message and they reply back to you pretty quickly. So, they're the experts, but if you can't get a hold of them, I will try to help you. Um, just let me know what you need. Okay, so now we have this um, features page, basically, uh, where you're going to add and, and edit what you feel like you want to make. Okay, so I'm just going to leave everything as default. 
the break even i think uh, like if you scroll over these question marks it it defines it but it's not exactly very clear the percentage of the source product price you want your product to cost more so i believe it's just like uh, an amount that you want it to increase to cost more so basically your profit um and then the profit auto filled into 18 uh, limited sales oh oh there's there's templates I like that it's Valentine's Day this t actually tomorrow so I'm going to put and maybe when you see this video it's already passed but more than likely I'm gonna do a Valentine's sale and actually it's probably not too wise if it's gonna be on there for 30 days let's do something different oh I like all the different choices um Limited time sale. How about that? Um, okay, so limited time sale. I'm just gonna do quantity one. I'm just gonna usually I do three policies, payment policy, blah blah blah. Just check over those things. Although even though you say the the buyer is sometimes responsible, um, eBay often makes the seller responsible for things if the if the customer complains about it so just so you know that all right so upload products let's see how that goes okay so this pops up and it says warning working with bulk variations requires knowledge so in other words what it's saying is some of the listings in ebay could the titles could be not really matching with what the items are based on the upload so just make sure when you go in and you put it into ebay that you actually go in and read what you've uploaded otherwise you could get a little bit screwed up with your your products and your description and your title and and that's important especially if the keywords are being recognized in your title and your description okay so this takes you to the other tab up here it says all uploads and it shows you all the details of how many items the date and that the status is pending so there's a hundred items that it's uploading so it's going to take a little while I will, you're not going to see much time difference, but I'm going to check back and, and move on from here. Hopefully find out how long it takes to upload a hundred items. Okay. So while I was waiting or while I am waiting for the upload to occur, I went over here to the sideboard, um, side menu, whatever you want to call it. And I clicked on active listings just to see if it uploaded and I don't see anything. So it says, please turn on your products monitor. So product prices and stock will be monitored okay so I'm going to turn on the products monitor and it says monitor is not working so what that basically means is I got to get it started so I'm going to start the monitor are you changing the monitor status status yes I want to save that and now the monitor is working I'm pretty sure that's probably pretty pretty critical um, thing that you need to get started so you know you know that everything is working okay now uh, once you start the monitor okay start the monitor okay so just a reminder i'm over here on the left side i'm in the section called monitors okay so this keeps track of everything this is the like the heart probably of the you could say of the operation so over here in general settings and you can see the stores that it's hooked up with or connected to one thing that you need to note at some point is the amount that you will lose um, setting. So in other words, let's say something happens and you can't find it anywhere unless you take a little bit of a loss. Um, and I'll get, over, get on with that in a minute here. But here are the general settings. And what you'll see in the monitor area um, is the products, the orders, the profitability, and they're all working as it says, but the orders processor is not working. Okay, so what do you do? If you click start monitor, it certainly can't work because you haven't set anything up to order. So you have to add your purchase account. So this is where the M, the next step. So, so far we've set up eBay. The next step is this. You need to set up your Amazon and Gmail. Okay, so I'm going to add this stuff in there and I'm going to pause the video to save your time. Okay, so I added my Amazon information. I didn't want you to see all my personal stuff, but uh, so basically that allows the computer to auto uh, order stuff from Amazon. So then you want to connect your Gmail account. So this is a third thing you need to do. So we did here. And again, it's just giving you permission or giving AutoDS permission to work with your Gmail account. It quickly linked and successfully added my email account. Now, 
Okay, so so far it's taken about 20 minutes and they're not all uploaded, but what I want to talk about here is this, whenever I see this on a site, I like it because, you know, this is what I do. Um, I just do friend referrals and that sort of thing and that's how I make my money. So you too can have a friend referral. So if you know somebody that's interested in something like this or you have a channel or maybe a course or something in dropshipping, then you can add that link. Again, if you would use my link in the description below, that would be awesome. So why is AutoDS cool? Why is it a good thing to use if you're starting dropshipping? Because all you do, AutoDS, in, signify, signified in the name of the application, of the software, it will automatically do this for you. Now, some of the other softwares you have to kind of pick, which I like. I like both. I like the fact that I have some freedom to pick my own products. I also like the fact that, man, if I want just to get something out there, I'm going to pay, invest a little bit of money. It's going to do the work for me. So I have 400 credits and I'm just going to max out here. So I'm just going to do the 400 credits worth and I'm going to see if I can get my eight sales in a month. Um, again, check back with some of my other videos and, and in a month from now, I'm going to upload and do a recording and see what happened with my auto DS. I'm going to continue to work with it. I love it. Uh, I love the automation of it. Um, and check back. I'm going to show you what my products look like listed from my mysterious product upload. So, um, keep watching uh, because what it is, is there are certain brands that people that they don't want anybody else selling. So for instance, let's just use Sony, for example, Sony has a reputation. Probably everyone that's watching this video knows who Sony is and what they sell. They don't want some third party person like taking care of and handling just some random person, their inventory or their products and selling them. So what Vero is, is maybe Sony said, I do not want this and it's not allowed. It's not legal for people to sell any of my products without my permission. So Vero is basically covering your butt. Um, if you do allow Vero. So, um, um, just make sure you like, if you check this, that you know that you can sell that product or not. So you don't want to get in trouble with a company that you shouldn't be selling from. Also, I'm going to do a new upload with my 400 credits. I'm going to do three quantity because that's usually what I do. Cause most of the time stores have a quantity of three. And if it's a hot product, I want to sell three of them. So, um, that's what I kind of checked out and clicked. Uh, thanks for watching again. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. And see you in my next video when you see how my account is going. Um, and uh, just monitor, see if this is going to work out and see how my choices and, and everything are going as far as my scheduled uploads and my sales and that sort of thing. So thanks for watching.